In this problem, we're going to convert a number in base 10, so 9583, to a number in base 8, which is called octal form. And so the way we're going to do that is we're just going to keep dividing by 8 over and over again, and we're going to write down the remainders. Okay, let's start. So we have 9583, and we're going to divide that by 8. So this is equal to, let's see, 9583 divided by 8. I got 1197. 0.875. So if you want the remainder, one way to do it is just take this and multiply it by 8. So 0.875, take the fractional part and multiply it by the, or the decimal part and multiply it by 8. And so I got 7. Our remainder is 7. Then you do it again. You take this number and you divide it by 8. Because we're going to base 8. If you're going to base 6, you divide by 6. Same thing. 1197 divided by 8. So I got 149.625. You want the remainder. So you take this piece, 0.625, and you multiply it by 8. So this is 0.625 times 8. So 5. The remainder is 5. You do it again. 149 divided by 8. This is equal to 149 divided by 8. We got 18.625. We want the remainder, so we take the decimal part, 0.625, multiply it by 8. We did this before, so we just got 5. Boom. Then we do it again. Let's do it again. So now we take 18 and divide it by 8. 18 divided by 8 is equal to, let's see, 18 divided by 8 is 2.25. We want the remainder, so you take 0.25, multiply it by 8. So 0.25 times 8, it's going to be, whoops, 0.25 times 8 is going to be 2. So the remainder is 2. And we do it again. We take 2 and we divide it by 8. So 2 divided by 8. This is equal to 0 0.25. We want the remainder, so you just take 0 0.25, multiply it by 8. 0.25 times 8 we get a remainder of 2. And to write your answer, you just write them backwards. 22557. 22557. And this is an 8, base 8. And this is equal to 9583 in base 10. Boom. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.